Hi, my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today, um, we're going to continue in our series of bringing revival to America, or your home, or your country. And we're going to be, I'm going to be um, sharing from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. Um, and I'm actually going to be sharing, sharing today from chapter 13, and it's called Science, Wonders, and Miracles Yesterday, Yesterday, Today, and Forever. And um, I'm going to go over and just name, I know that if you, you can find some signs, wonders, and miracles in the Old Testament and New Testament, and I have a whole list here in my book, but I'm not going to go over that. I'm going to go over signs, wonders, and miracles that are happening uh, to people I know personally and to people around the world uh, that have shared with me or I've heard through their ministry or know personally or whatever, just different uh, things that are going on that you can expect to happen in this end time, re end time revival. Here are some supernatural things going on in the world today that God's doing. Um, supernatural weight loss. People come in and they lose 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds and they go down from huge pants to, to they have to hold up their pants to go out. Um, teeth are being filled with gold. Uh, hair on their head is growing in. I mean, God is a God of supernatural, abundantly more than you ask, think, or imagine. Uh, scars and moles disappearing, wrinkles disappearing, and skin looking younger. Silver, gold, gemstone dust appearing on people, faces, walls, Bibles, uh, anywhere. Gemstones of all different sizes appearing in people's hands, on the floor, falling. Uh, falling. Mostly this happens during, the, the gemstones happen mostly during praise and worship. Uh, and you can kind of think of it as this way. Um, when you praise and worship God, God comes on the scene because you're exalting and you're magnifying him and you reap what you're sowing. You're sowing attention to God so God, so you reap a harvest of God coming and being in your presence. And that's a really neat, neat revelation that God just shared with me recently. But when you're doing that, God comes and whenever God comes, the atmosphere of heaven comes. And the atmosphere of heaven is oil, uh, uh, the oil of Gideon, the balm and oil and um, um, gemstones and pearls and gold and silver streets and walls that have gemstones on and angelic activities and feathers and just everything that's in heaven the atmosphere comes down so that's getting to be a common thing gemstones uh, gemstones not just appearing but multiplying in people's hands and growing in people's hands manna from heaven that uh, has some competition here from what Katie did or whatever they are manna bread appearing in Bible's hands. Hey, shut up in Jesus' name. Be quiet. You're making too much noise. Supernatural oil coming out of people's hands. Thank you. Supernatural oil coming out of people's hands are the Bible's appearances of angels, singing angels, which is awesome, instruments being played by angels, honey wheels, what God calls honey wheels. Those are the round spots that appear in pictures. If you look at them real close, they're very intricate and have very neat detailing in them. Um, uh, we believe those are angels, people being transported, people being transported in cars, people being two places at one time in order to minister, people being in a place that they weren't in a time of need and it was really their angel and I believe your angels look something like you. Golden leaves from heaven being received and eaten for strength, visitations from heaven and that is going to be so common. We have been given, um, we're seated in heavenly places and we're supposed to seek um, the kingdom of God, where, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, and that's in heaven. So we have a right to visit heaven. So there'll be a lot more visitations uh, to heaven, and um, I think it was Heidi Baker, or somewhere back in her history, where uh, uh, whole rooms full of children were visiting angels and visiting heaven, and I'm not sure if that's um, uh, correct or not. Um, glory clouds, glory fire, faces seen in the, in the clouds, um, people, this has been for a while, shaking, falling, twitching under the power of the Holy Spirit, because the power of the Holy Spirit is like electricity going through our body. It's God's supernaturalness on our flesh, and all kinds of things happen when that happens. Holy uh, laughter, drunkenness, holy drunkenness, spinning, dancing, jumping, shouting, um, supernatural energy to do that. Portholes of heaven open, where you have uh, visions of what's going on in heaven. Um, supernatural uh, rainbows. Um, visions, dreams, and open visions, uh, rain or snow inside a building, supernatural rainbows inside a building, uh, abnormal amounts of rainbows, food multiplying, and clothing multiplying. And I'm sure there's a whole lot more, and if you have something to share with me, go to my website, ribbonsclown.com and share it. 
But those are some of the things. And then in my book here, um, I think you'll find it really interesting and exciting to read some of, I have about 10 different supernatural experiences I've had, with, some with demons, um, a co about three with demons, some uh, with Jesus as my bridegroom, um, just some funny stuff, some <laughs> really powerful stuff. Uh, I think you'll get a kick out of it and you'll enjoy it. And the reason I share those things in my book is because I wanted you to see what's happening to other people to get confidence to experience it yourself. And my name is Robin Bremer and that's it for today.